Well, good afternoon. Welcome to another edition of That's Railroad, where we bring the railroad to you. And today we're at the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. And I got a special guest with us. This is Sam. Hi, Sam. Hello. <laughs> Sam's a volunteer here. And before I go any further, I want you to know that he has a YouTube channel with a lot of really great videos of the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad. It's at 6777 Productions. Okay, and I'll put a link in the description uh, so you can click on that. But Sam is a very special person. Here's a young man, he's got a really good head on his shoulders, and he volunteers here. And Sam, you've been volunteering here since when? Uh, since I was 13 years old, so I'll be... 13 years old, okay, <laughs> and you're all how old now? Um, I'll be 19 in one month exactly. Awesome, six years he's been volunteering here. Started out as a school project. And uh, Sam, you're the youngest volunteer they have here right now? Uh, youngest continually back, okay. continually active volunteer. And you told me they have 1,800 volunteers here. Yeah, give or take. And <laughs> the oldest one is 95 years old. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. So, so what gets you interested well, to the school, but what all do you do when you, when you volunteer here? Just, I, we, we rode the trip with Sam already. <laughs> This is an after thing. All kind of people are coming up asking him all these questions and he's answering everything. They some, seem to think that I know most of the questions around here. <laughs> I started out as a concessions person, um, one that worked uh -huh. serving food in a cafe car. I wasn't really allowed to do much else um, because I was under, um, under 18 years old. But as soon as I turned 18 here last year, I started um, getting more into the trainment aspect of things. Still going. Go ahead. So as I started going into the trainman aspect, um, I would be eventually in charge of taking over, you know, car passengers, showing them the sights, um, helping them board and deboard at certain stations. Um, and I guess that's, you know, I've always had that little nick of helping people ask or helping people that have questions. And people seem to, you know, always enjoy my answers. Yeah, they do. I've, I've noticed that the Sam's very informative. He's very knowledgeable about this railroad. Uh, all the questions that he's answered the people over today's uh, events. Very congratulations. <laughs> and anything else you want to tell us about the railroad while we're talking here? We can always use more volunteers, so if you're around, <laughs> feel free. We'll take okay. on anybody and anyone from any type of background. <laughs> yeah. Sam's got a really nice personality, really works well with people. He gets along really well with people. Uh, volunteered today to help with it be with us that so we've known Sam for quite some time, met over the internet, and I'm very impressed. That's the first part of Sam's story. <laughs> now the second part of Sam's story is really, really cool, because he just graduated from high school, and you're going to Penn State University at Altoona campus. And let's <laughs> go ahead and tell us about what you're going to do here in the future at Penn State. So beginning of August here, I will be moving to Altoona to, um, to participate in Penn State Altoona campus's Railroad Transportation Engineering degree. Now isn't that awesome? I think that is just so cool. Oh, yeah. yeah. So uh, as a part of the um, degree, I have classes of signaling, um, ballast makeup, different types of rail, um, and even down to the tie, um, basically anything dealing with the rail track infrastructure. That is what my degree will be in. Great. And your plans for the future after college? Uh, one day I would hopefully like to get into rail accidents investigation with either the Federal Railroad Administration or the National Transportation Safety Board. But it's all going to be depending on what opens up. <laughs> all right. I think you're going to make it. And we I certainly do, <laughs> do want to wish you the very best. And thank you so much for being with us today, Sam. I love being on this thing, so it's no bear to me. <laughs> it's been a real pleasure. Go, please do check out his channel. You just get to see a lot of different shots of the uh, Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad he's taken from a lot of different locations. Okay? Okay. A nice GP35 brought us on our trip up here. It's a nice shape. Got the two axles.
tracks with Blomberg trucks on it. F is for front end. 26L brake system. GP35M. Nice. Nice shape. Pennsylvania Railroad coach coming up here. We're in car number three down there. This is their baggage car. Coach we rode in was built in 1949 by the Bug Company. Holds 80 passengers. And today's capacity was full. I don't really know how many cars they have on this train today. There's at least 11 cars on it for sure. This is a nice, nice ride. Nice place to visit. cars we got in our train today? About 10, I think. 10 cars in the train. Yep. Nice ride. It was nice and smooth. Yes, sir. Nice ride. This is a nice place to visit. <laughs> I like it. We're going to be heading back to Akron here in about 12 minutes, so I kind of show you this. They've got another locomotive on the other end, it's going to pull us back, and I don't know what it is, haven't been able to see it yet. They make different stops along the way, that's pretty neat pick up uh, bikers they have bike this is a Cuyahoga uh, National Park pick up bikers along the way and a couple other depots they pick up people at pretty neat really nice all right well uh, we'll be back see what else we can find
Okay, we're departing the uh, Akron North Side Station, headed north. We had a good ride today. This is a fun ride. If you guys ever want to get over here and get to see this, it's a three hour trip. It's a well worth the money. Very fun trip. Nice track too. I had to do a track inspection before uh, <laughs> before we left, but. I'm just kidding. I did walk along the track here, just check things out, but Very nice, very nice. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed today's show. It's been a lot of fun. We've had a good time. And happy rails to you until we meet again. <laughs>